Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and this is Seeing Funny John back for our third commentary. And this one is actually going to be Ultimate Spider Man. Wait a minute, what? What do you mean it's not Ultimate Spider Man? They said it's based off the Ultimates comics. How in the world does it not name Ultimate Spider Man? Well, what is it named? Amazing Spider Man? But the other one was based off of Amazing Spider Man. All right, then. Okay, fine, whatever. So. I'm doing a commentary on Amazing Spider-Man. Even though I could have sworn they said they're basing off the Ultimates. Okay, so we have this little kid who's playing as Peter Parker. Which, yeah, he looks kind of like the Peter type, I suppose. Apparently, they're playing a good game of hide-and-seek, which, mm, I don't know, I mean, it's cool that he's playing with his father and stuff, and I think his mother's playing as well, or maybe just the father is playing with him, I'm not sure, but notice that his father is being clever with the broom and shoes things. Oh, here's the part where I was like, what the heck on it. So, <clears throat> my story of how I'm wearing glasses is what I think it is, besides genetics, is the fact that I took my mom's old glasses, put them on, and watched TV for like a few seconds. Which I think that actually damaged my eyes. And that's what I think happened. But, of course, genetics could have. I think it could have happened. I mean... Who's to say that didn't have anything to do with it? And oh my gosh, his place got ransacked. Wow. It was like, what the heck? I mean, if someone broke in and stuff, um, where is he now? I would have loved to see a fight scene where he's like, Dad, someone's in the house! And they fight and start fighting. <laughs> so apparently his dad is apparently super secretive. Because look at that. Secret compartment with a folder on it. And look, it's Miss Honey. She's aged. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, Peter Parker's mother is actually Miss Honey from Matilda. If you enjoyed Miss Honey, well, ladies and gentlemen, we have someone who actually wants to kill Matilda's adoptive mom, a.k.a. Matilda's teacher, Miss Honey. All of a sudden, it started raining. Wonder why there's no rain damage on his files and stuff. Alright, so you have a cast of Uncle Ben and Aunt May. Sadly, the f people who started on Uncle Ben and Aunt May, like Rosemary and... I don't remember the other one. I'm sorry. I should, but I don't know offhand. Man, Matilda, I mean, Miss Honey, you serious? Someone killed Miss Honey? How dare you kill Miss Honey? What's even worse is how dare you get Aunt Bay and Uncle Ben not even look like their comic selves. Instead, you have Aunt May looking younger than she should be. Now, we skip. And you have Flash hitting Peter Parker. Which, I read the Ultimate Comics. That is so not what Peter looks like back then. Well, before his death in 2009. No idea who the person is supposed to be, but... She's leading him on like a jerk, though. I mean, really, she's leading her on like a jerk. It's like, ooh, boyfriend's car, seriously? Ooh. My goodness. I don't remember whatsoever Peter Parker actually having a motor, I mean, a skateboard. Wow. I mean, seriously, wow. 
Peter doesn't break rules. And hey, look at that. And apparently this couple right here, which it's like, what the frick you doing? Get out my locker! What do you think, huh? It's cool doing this crap, huh? huh? Well, side note is that the couple, they're still together even today. Which is amazing. So they actually got... So either A, they couldn't find an actor who can act that out, or there are two actors who fell in love and... I don't know. So you have someone who actually is supposed to be Peter Parker because that guy looks more Peter Parker than Andrew Garfield does. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's true. Down, Eugene. Like, dang, man, Eugene. You had to say that? Of course, technically, he does look like a little bit of a jerk on this. Even though Peter is getting hit. And look at that. You get to see what he's wearing in his underwear. Like, what the heck? Now, what's the deal with the girl with the glasses? They already... Yeah, it's just like at least two where she actually shows up. Which is kind of ridiculous. So, his love interest is Gwen Stacy. Even though in Ultimates, isn't it still Mary Jane? I mean... I'm just saying, even though they're trying to be like, uh, we don't want to look like the original one, like the original franchise, it's like, there's no escaping it. If you're telling the story of Peter, it's like, oh, one other thing. So, his camera got kicked open, meaning that, and he's using an old school lens. What's the deal with that? But still, he was using film, and when film gets touched by light, it gets damaged. Now unless it's all wound up and everything. But we do have Gwen Stacy. Which Gwen Stacy is played by Emma Stone. Which I saw first saw Emma Stone in uh, House Bunny. I think that's what it's called. Yeah, she was dressed all geeky like and I was like, I'm in love. Yeah, but later on in the other movies she starred in, I started to say, I'll forget it, you know? <laughs> it's like, I'll forget it. I mean, after you did Easy A, I'm like, yeah. My crush is dead. <laughs> hmm. Yep, here we go. Skeddy and Beat Balls. If they would have been cool and have a homage to the Ultimate Comics, why couldn't they do Meatloaf? But anyways, bowling trophy. Mm. Uncle Ben doesn't have doesn't have bowling trophies. He's a hippie. In the Ultimate Saga, he is a hippie. I mean, the Ultimate version of Uncle Ben. He's a hippie. All right, let's see what it got on this. Let's see what it got. Let's see. Let's see what happens. So downstairs, it seems like it's abandoned a little bit, even though we see that table. But I think his uncle Ben was a craftsman or some sort. So wow. So in this part. You kind of encourage him to fight back. I'm just saying, technically. Excuse me. <laughs> and that's where everything turns around. Even though back then, back in the Ultimates, he actually, instead of have the only one briefcase, the Ultimates, he actually had a lab downstairs. Not only he had a basement lab, but he also had a room. He had a door, a closet. And as soon as he opened the closet, he found bunches and bunches and bunches of boxes owned by his parents. Why in the world would he ask to keep him safe for him? I mean... <clears throat> Here we go. Here's one thing. So, if he was protecting his son, 
and stuff. Now, how come he leaves the bag there? I mean, when that basically screams, does Richard Parker have any family? Oh, yeah, he has a brother-in-law and a sister. No, or, let's see. Oh, it would be, he has a brother and a sister-in-law, and like, oh, let's go to their house. As soon as they go to the house, they're going to be like, where is it? With guns, like, where is it? Where the frig is it? Where's that bag? We want that frig bag. If you don't want the bag, it's going to shoot you. That's what basically should have happened. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If they really wanted that bag, and it was really that important to keep safe, you shouldn't have kept it. You should have said, if this bag means trouble, you take that bag with you. <laughs> and of course, well, he's just being a big, big, good brother, I suppose. Even though in this movie, they switch it up. I think, technically, the, it was the sisters who... Yeah, so his mom and his aunt were sisters. And look, <laughs> Albert Einstein, apparently since... Someone was like, he doesn't look nerdy enough. Let's give him glasses. Even though, even if he's wearing glasses, it doesn't make him nerdy. So, let's see. Uh, that's basically it. There's, like, really nothing else besides him finding that stupid envelope. <laughs> I mean, folder. Also shows that he got lots of pictures of Gwen Stacy. I think he'll, yeah. He has lots of pictures of Gwen Stacy. I'll just talk about it now since I don't even... Yeah, I was doing two things at once. So I'm not really looking at the movie. I'm just... Rear window. What's the deal with rear window? <laughs> okay, now that shows how tech savvy he is. Yeah, they have to throw some tech savvy in there just to be like... Yeah, he could do the web shooters. Funnier part is that... Lots of things are linking out lately. And I just found a picture of which they were thinking of giving web shooters in the first franchise, but their organic look is more convenient. And plus, later on in the series of Amazing Spider Man, they did do it. So why not? See, look at that, all those pictures and stuff. But still, what's the deal with that? Dang. See, look at that, Gwen Stacy all over the place. He has photos of other things in the back. Hey, the reason why they have the lizards, the bad guy, is because the other franchise left the loose end. And they were like, well, he's been teasing the lizard, so we so gotta show the lizard now. Even though in the Ultimates, the lizard is rarely really seen. I mean, there's maybe like one comic of it, and then there's a special where he actually featured in there. And then after that, all that's left is, mm, excuse me, all that's left is just basically him sh basically using Kirk Connors for other stuff. And look at this plane crash. Oh, um, didn't in the Ultimates, they had the uh, Brox in the current plane crash? What's with that? Oh, 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 here's something crazier. It's the fact of that plane crash. Doesn't it show that it was a small plane? But we now have a trailer that she shows a big plane. What's the deal with that now? What's the deal with it? And now they have Oscorp building. They tried to put in the Avengers, but Sony wasn't fast enough to pick the design on it. Doofus. They were willing to. Oh, here comes one of them. One of many things of, who are you? Do you know who you are? Is a man of many masks.
other crazy part is if he's a very there it is there it is there's one of them so the question is and number two is how come it couldn't be they use Miguel O'Hara that would have been funny homage oh uh, look there's Norman Osborn how come he doesn't look like that in the trailer <laughs> The first thing was, oh man, oh yes, if he's a good student, a very brilliant student, how come he wasn't invited there himself? Also, what's with Gwen? I mean, well, yeah, they're establishing Gwen as... Wouldn't Gwen actually have been known Peter and just basically, hey, you, and stuff like that? You would figure Gwen would give him a hookup. But apparently, not. Yeah, it was later on when he got punched by Flash. She's like, oh, I'm caring for him. <laughs> Amazing. Look at him. He's lost his arm, man. He most likely lost it in Nam. Yes, everybody's been to Nam. I lost my foot. I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. That's not right. That's not right. Yeah, we get it. You want to get his, your arm back. We get it. You want to get your arm back. Yep, then you have this because he read his father's notes. Not only read his father's notes, but uh, this is also what the game was based off of. Speaking of which, in the game, you basically got the rhino. How come? He yeah, because they need the pro they need the directors not to actually put characters in the game. How come if he's using the Rhino in the second movie, he allowed the Rhino to be used in the first game? That's one of the confusions. I mean, it did... They kind of secretly hinted at the element stuff, even though they didn't have Electro. They had Hydro Man, they had Sandman, they had my Mr. Negative. I think that's... Oh, yeah. I would kind of include the vulture in that. That's about it. Oh, there's the spider. Uh oh. Busted. <laughs> Rodrigo, really? Of course, people will ask in the Ultimate Saga, what did Gwen Stacy do? Or they'll basically be like, yeah, in the Ultimate Saga, Gwen Stacy works for Oscorp. Wrong, wrong. She didn't work for Oscorp. Peter's parents didn't work for Oscorp either. His father was a scientist. He was funded by Oscorp, but he wasn't an Oscorp employee. That's for Gwen Stacy. Well, hmm. Well, she got killed by Carnage. <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert, even though it's not going to be a spoiler. Yeah, because they're going to allow the Amazing Spider-Man, even though that's not Ultimate Spider-Man. It's like, okay, let me... So you try to tell me it's not like the original franchise, but yet you're kind of basing it off two things, Ultimates and Amazing Spider-Man. I mean, um, if you don't want continuity of the original franchise, go straightly Ultimates then, you stupid idiots. <laughs> It's like, why not go straight to the Ultimates? I mean, seriously. It's like, what's your deal? And then you have Miss Dr. Rafa. Which lots of people are like, what the hell is this guy? Or, But he's been in Bollywood a lot. Lots of Bolly films. I like him. He's cool. The thing is... He actually had a proto goblin. They were gonna do something cool with it, but 
the Sony executives, when they saw it, was like, yeah, we need you to doll down from what you're doing and do something else. Oh, here we go. So, <clears throat> basically, Spider-Man, in the Ultimates, his webbing came from his dad's own serum, and he was perfecting it. But apparently, instead, he's going to steal some web cartridges, a.k.a. web cartridges, from Oscorp. And apparently, this is his dad's room. He bred the spiders. The spider guy. But why? Why did you breed the spiders? What purpose is that? Well, cross-species genetics, of course. But technically, it wasn't really... Peter's dad who did the spiders thing. The only thing Peter's did Peter's dad did was more like made the venom suit and other things. He didn't really do the spiders. The spiders were really Norman Osborne's idea. Even though the person he Stan Lee based him off of Oh yeah. I forgot to do this. Oh my god! Spiders! Oh god, get him off me! Ah, get him off me! Alright, back to what I was saying is that Yeah, he based him off a Richard guy in the 1960s. So yeah. I guess that's what they kinda did. Is so mm. the K rate algorithm. And who has it? Peter. But Dr. Rafa is the worst character so far who has been abused and mistreated in the franchise so far. Why do you say that? Well, Dr. Rafa, basically, he appeared in this one, he appeared in the other, and then basically he'll appear one more time, and that's it. Even though, in the deleted scenes, you basically get to see why you don't see him ever again. And only in Tumblr you get to see. Yeah, only, you have to use Tumblr to change it. Oh my god, Spider! Oh my god, Spider, get it off me! Get it off me! Get it off me! But I do have to admit that was kind of original. Instead of Spider biting his wrist, it actually bought, he, bought that. He bought? Yeah, he had bought his neck for some reason. Yeah, spiders have money. <laughs> but yeah, the spider bit his neck. And instead of basically fainting after getting bit by a spider because he had some moments of fainting, he somehow goes in a subway. Which I'm like, okay, I get it now, but what's the deal with this dude right here? He's sleeping and this guy's like, oh, uh, what I'm gonna do now? Uh, I'm gonna just put this beer bottle right here even though I have no respect for people at all. Why in the hell would I do that in the first place? Because, hey, that's my beer. I want to drink my beer. I bought good money on it, and instead, and that is a good point of, hey, wait a minute, what the hell this kid's doing? This kid's a freak. Yeah, and now it's this girl, which, I don't even know why they had to do it. I guess it was a funny moment, it's supposed to be. I don't get it, really. I mean, that's not really his girlfriend at all. They were just a bunch of people. I guess he was trying to be a gentleman, but still, you're the one who caused this. You're the one who caused all of this. He's not looking for a fight at all. I mean, you had to freak out the beer bottle on his head, and it's caused the collision with everything. And, ooh, there goes his board. Ooh. Wait a minute. Doesn't that mean Peter actually had to have a second skateboard? But, yeah. And look at that girl. I mean, really, why we had that show a bra in here? It's like, what's the deal with that? I would have rather seen either Sam Raimi's thing or basically see him the ultimate saga way. And, uh-oh. Yeah, that's right, ladies and gentlemen. 
you didn't get to see this in the Karate Kid with Jaden Smith, so why not show it in Amazing Spider-Man instead? Even though I could swear that these are not the same guys who issued it. Or maybe they did. If they did, well, there you go. If they didn't, well, funny coincidence. And now he looks like he's a freaking... He got the munchies somehow. Yeah, so the spider bite basically made him... Oh, meatloaf. Okay. Yeah, okay, now I understand now. Finally. But still, yeah. It seems like he's freaking got the munchies and stuff. And... He's taking every single thing. I mean... Um, what about the macaroni? The macaroni needs to be heated up. What's the deal with that? Yeah, he sure did. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And now they basically have this going on. Even though I could swear they could basically just take the ultimate saga instead of this. But you gotta admit, doing this whole what the heck is on my neck and then you pull it out. I would freak out. I kind of would freak. I would kind of freak out. Yeah, let me see. Check this out. Come on. Come on. Pull it out, you idiot. Pull it out. Let's see the spider. Which, I do have to admit, the fate of the spider on this one is better than the ultimates. Why do I say that? Because, well, in the ultimates, Kong smushed the spider with his freaking shoe. He just basically went, ah, da, da, boom, smash. Uh oh, here we go. Just like that. Just like that. And now here comes the crappiest soundtrack in the world. And also, you have the wo reenactment of the Wolverine. <laughs> yeah, the reenactment of the Wolverine bathroom scene. And Kellogg's actually leaked this too. Yeah, well, what's the deal is going on here? I mean, this guy definitely has to have a freak out moment. And what's the deal with him having to show his underwear? Hey, is that the same underwear as before? Does that mean that he's wearing the same pair of underwear for two days now? <laughs> and now he's freaking out. It's kind of like he's now having some aftermaths he's going out of the drug but of course he has some freaking out moments the only messed up part is i don't want to see your foot man i don't want to see your foot it's like i don't want to freaking see your foot so now he goes to web and and also he's using bing as any smart guy ever use bing only I think they're only using Bing because Bing is just a sponsor, right? They need to get a better sponsor. Oh! <laughs> they so need to get a better sponsor than Bing, man. Now, this is the crazy part. Whoa. And now this is a homage to Spectacular Spider-Man, which they stole some of their material from. Oh, yeah, I said it. I said it. They stole some material from him. No wonder you canceled it because you got the idea from that. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Kind of. I'm kind of kidding. And the lies begin. Like the lies begin. And here's the part that screws up everything. I mean, they basically screwed Connor's life forever. <coughs> Excuse me. In Spider Man 2, they did cast the wife, they also cast his son. But in this one, they also cast him too. We never saw the wife, but we saw the son in deleted scenes. It's like, look at that, it's so empty. 
it's like really really empty Yeah, so you read the book. So, only time I looked at Dr. Connors in the Ultimates is the Carnage one. Yeah, the Carnage saga. Which he had to ask Peter for his blood to use. And, yeah. Apparently in Ultimate Saga, he's a bit of a drunk. Yeah, he becomes a drunk after he turns into a lizard. I mean... Technically, yeah, he did work with his father in Ultimates, but we haven't really saw true proof. We just heard him say that he did work with him. <clears throat> it's like, really, um, even though they already linked, yeah, they leaked the ending part. It's like, did you tell the boy about his father? It's like, what does he know then? What does he freaking know about his father? Hmm? Tell us, what does he know? Which, that is what they said in Ultimates, too. It's like the boy is about to die. <laughs> yeah, they had to test his blood. Took his blood from the hospital. <clears throat> I would have put, loved the whole... He was on the board and wrote it. Which, the editing board shouldn't have changed it into this. I don't know why. Yep, there's your algorithm. It's like, how in the world did you know that? Uh, dump up. I mean, what's the deal with that? <laughs> now that's where everything went to holy crap. Yeah, that's the big holy crap moment right there. Yeah, and he's envisioning, which... Yeah, notice the fact that... Huh, I didn't really notice that. His freaking bed is actually the couch. Whoa. So, technically, you would say that he got kicked out, apparently. That's their story. <clears throat> Here's the girl again. <clears throat> it's like, what's the deal, man? But he's a good action hero if they wanted to do Agent Venom. If they really wanted to do it, he's a good candidate. I mean, the other Flash, I wouldn't really suggest he would be Agent Venom at all. But, mm. <coughs> here we go. I mean, it would have been cool if he got her as the girlfriend. Why not? A little fling from her? Oh, yeah. And the funny part is that he did go into the sports basketball team. He did do it until something else called. But as for this, this happened, but happened before, actually. Yeah. What really happened is the fact that Flash fought Peter. And Peter caught his punch. And the punch hurt his fist. And that's the real reason why they should have actually had the wrestling thing in there. Yeah, so the wrestling scene actually was forced to happen if they actually did the Ultimates thing. But as for this, this is just straight up, eh. Here we go. Oh, nothing but net, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm on fire. And Peter shouldn't be blamed for this, and Peter shouldn't have to pay for that.
Well, he got a brand new skateboard. It's like, what's the big thing deal? It's not like he fought. <laughs> I mean, technically, this is the part where I'm like, yeah, this is Uncle Ben at all. Uncle Ben isn't like this. Uncle Ben is kind of sweet. This isn't kind of sweet. This is like being a total jerk. I understand it's supposed to be the darker version of Spider-Man. I say, why not just do Superior Spider-Man then? Screw it. Just Superior Spider-Man. <laughs> that would have been cool to watch. Yeah, at least with Superior Spider-Man, you can actually have some new crazy stuff. Uh-oh. Now that has to be creepy right there. Oh, and the boots. Apparently my mom hated those boots. She said those boots were very ugly. Very ugly. I was like, I don't care about the boots. It's like, really, dude, girls want to have guys put them on the computer. I mean, it should sound more scary, more creepy than sweet or flattering. <coughs> no one funny thing about the whole Peter Parker, this Peter Parker's take. Is that one critic, it was a female. She was like, she said that one thing I love about this movie is Peter Parker is not a nerd anymore. I was like, oh man, y'all guys straight up screwed over, didn't you? You know what I mean? If you have one critic who actually said that, yeah, that's one thing. Is that If you have a lot of people, you have a large position and you tell people what you think, Sooner or later, you'll have lots of other people who actually hear what she says, looks into it, and say, you know what, that's true. Crappy soundtrack number two. I, he's, he's from Sundance. Let's get this straight. This is like the second movie. The first movie he did was in Sundance. So that's why he has some crappy taste. I mean, if you're doing a superhero movie, that doesn't mean you treat it like what you did in Sundance. This is a whole new ball game. And number two, what's the deal with freaking Peter using skateboarding? It's not really that cool at all. It's like waste of time. Now, this is okay. Yeah, this part is okay. Kind of. But the skateboarding, we can do without. Seriously? The only time skateboarding would be good is if they actually have Spider-Man with a skateboard. <laughs> Think about that. Spider-Man fighting alongside with his trusty skateboard. <laughs> nice. Skateboard power. Oh, oh, oh. So it's going to be like Ultimate Spider-Man. And look at this. He's using the chains, which, yeah, that comes into play later. I'm okay with that. But all I'm saying is that the skateboard could actually have web shooters underneath it like in Ultimate Spider-Man. Sadly, yes, I saw that series. I saw at least three episodes of it. No idea why he had to do that how. <clears throat> Beginning of the end, part one. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, foreshadowing. There's really nothing else to say in this part. It's the fact that he's walking through and this is the beginning of the end. The fact of you left Aunt May, you didn't even t talk to Uncle Ben and say... I mean, here's the, oh yeah, I was, I was in love with this whole technology part right here. Yeah, they got me to enjoy this technology part. I mean, look at that. That is all good. 
But I would have told Uncle Ben, um, Uncle Ben, I'm sorry, but I can't do it. I would have told him like days prior, I was like, I was, I'm not able to do it. <clears throat> so he wouldn't basically be like, well, it's good that he actually did leave a message. No, oh, here we go. Failed. Failed. Subject failed. Subject failed. Subject failed. Subject failed. Uh oh, and when he turns his back, it finally works. Personally, <clears throat> If they were trying to make this into like the ultimate Spider-Man and truly based it on it, I would have went to the people who are thinking about it. I would have went to Michael Bendis, went to Mark Bagley, talked to them about, I want to actually make a movie based on ultimate Spider-Man. Yeah, as soon as I told them that, they'll basically be like, Oh, okay, how can we help? I'm just inquiring some things, and basically that'll help them out. Uh-oh. I'm like, yeah, I'm like, okay, um, Uncle Ben definitely doesn't do this. Uncle Ben definitely doesn't yell at. Uncle Ben has a kind hand. What? He's yelling at Aunt May too. We never really saw them yell at all to each other before. Oh, here we go. Butchering a great power, great possibility. In a different way. It's funny that in the first... In the... Fantasy... Oh, man, I can't really think today but fantasy 15 the original spider-man pilot one they never actually said with great power comes great responsibility but in ultimate spider-man they did so there's no excuse on them not doing it power look at that power look at that power yeah and look what he does. <clears throat> okay, so there is another door. But if there wasn't really another door, I would say you're leaving Aunt May alone. After you yelled at Peter, you left her alone. And it doesn't look like to me she's closing the door for her own safety either. So you're leaving her alone like you yelled at Peter. What's to do with that? And there's Peter right there, even though there's a cutscene. Someone made me reference this part. But. I guess this technically is New York life. That's not right, dude. That's just not right. Dude pushing the side. You do have to admit, this is a new take <clears throat> on it. But in the Ultimate Saga, I don't really know. Ultimate series, I don't really know if there was a bad guy. I mean... Uncle Ben got shot, yes, but not sure. I think it either was the passerby or the person that actually stole the money. 
So that would have been a good take too, which I'm not going to talk about that unless someone comments and say, what do you mean by money? Okay, here's his smart idea. He had a few seconds to do something. What he could have done was kick the freaking gun into the sewer. As soon as he kicked the gun in the sewer, the only thing that's left is if he had a knife. And if he didn't have a knife, then... Well, look at that. He's defenseless. You took his gun, kicked it in the sewer. As for the alternate version of this, I like the alternate better because it's like... Where's everybody? Yeah, where's someone's like, oh my gosh, I'm calling the police. Yeah, there doesn't seem like there's anyone near whatsoever. It seems like this part right here could actually been played by Arnold Schwarzenegger. I mean, it matches. See? It matches Arnold Schwarzenegger's personality that easily. So now you have Aunt May. So yeah, they do have a door, but I'm just saying. Those little pauses she had while looking out the door instead of closing it. She could have got attacked. Yeah, and you just freaking yelled at him for something you just did. So here comes the Uncle Ben's killer hunt. Even though lots of people are saying that he never found a killer. And the second Spider-Man game actually also promotes the fact that he didn't find a killer. But I only have one thing to say to that. And as soon as the... Yep, he left a voice message. Which, I do have to admit, the voice message was a good touch. Yep, the walk of sh walk of depression. I was going to say the walk of shame, but it's not really the walk of shame. It wasn't his fault. It was Uncle Ben's fault. Oh. Yep, I'm Ra's al Ghul's to Peter. <laughs> I'm Ra's al Ghul's to Peter. Peter, it wasn't your fault. It was your uncle's. <laughs> it was your uncle's. What's the deal with Flash being too nice? Flash is being too nice at this. Flash is not nice. Flash still bullies Peter all the way to the very end. Technically, if you're doing Amazing Spider-Man, it took him all the way to be Agent Venom to actually be nice to Peter. Yep. So, here comes the beginning things and my questions. Oh, look at that. So, he has his film, even though he should have a red room for that. So, now it begins. This is a nice skylight show. And then you have him going out in the streets looking for his uncle's killer. I mean, what's with the girl? The girl was just getting attacked, and then all of a sudden, he's like, Vicky, no! And then she's like... Yeah, you know, she's just right there instead of you were about to get your purse taken. What's the deal with this girl? This girl was just about to freaking get something, and now she's like, This guy's crazy! Let's go get him! <coughs> Which I get it, his his friend got beaten up just now, but yeah, that's all they got. It's like no real reason why. It's like, let's go, go, and like, all of a sudden they're able to go fast and get him. 
I mean, look at that. He's like out in the streets. Doesn't even have anything that blocks his identity. Given, yes, he's looking for Uncle Ben's killer, but... Yeah. And then he fall down just to do a homage of the whole wrestling match. Which would have been funny if he came in right just then and they're like, we'll just got to do it. And then those two double team him and have a fight with him. All right, let's see. I'm not going to pause it because that destroys it. The Crusader of the Night. That's what it says. The Crusader of the Night. Even though I do have to admit it says Otto on it. And since this is auto, it says Crusaded. So it basically could say the Crusaded of the Night. Or the Night Crusade. But I would just say the Night Crusader, even though whoever wrote that should have did nice a nicer job on it. So now he's in night looking for his Uncle Ben's killer. That's crazy looking at look at that. Okay, biocable tensile strength. Does that mean that shit hurt? Not only that, but where's he getting the money on for this? What, did Uncle Ben leave him a large sum of money? I don't get it. They don't really explain where he's getting the money for it. And not only that, but notice that he got it shipped from Oscorp, so they can basically trace him. He now has a under. He now has a basement laboratory, but it's not as good as the ultimates, though. So, why are you out there without a mask or anything, just to hide your identity? I don't get it. I don't get it at all. Like, what's the deal with this? Of course, lots of people are like, I so can't do that. I would be screaming. I would be freaking out. You know, what's the deal with this? And then lots of people are able to see this. Even more people are able to be like, um, we saw a guy swinging. There's no way someone's able to do that, but... Mm. I'm going to be silent for a little bit because I have to do something. <clears throat> Slides over, and he's just running. And now you have Dennis Leary. All right, here's the point. Here's the part. Okay, ready? Thwip. There it is. Who's that guy? Isn't that his killer? That had to be freaking Uncle Ben's killer. I mean, why else they're going to do that thwip part? What's the deal with that? That's a messed up leak. I mean, what the heck? And he saw him. He's like, oh my gosh. So Peter thinks he has to add on to the mask because, well, he has to add on to it. And then they have to put physics behind it just to show it's real. It's like, what's the deal with this? Yeah, it's like, what's this? So... He created it all by himself, apparently. Yeah. And we saw this in the first trailer. This part. That's for that. Yeah, that's in the second trailer. Who could start pinpointing lots of parts where trailers take place? It's like, yeah, this was in the second trailer, and then this wasn't in the trailer at all. 
Yeah, this part right here wasn't in the trailer at all. Yep, he forgot the eggs. What's the deal with that? And then here's the part that if you got the three dollar DVD from Walmart, that's the specific part where they actually took it from. Yeah, he's still in his techno thing. You know, we're wondering what kind of car actually allows you to do that. The other funny part is how did Spider Man get in the car already? Night girl, you're a cop. <laughs> and like, look at he's freaking out and everything. And he's like, where did he go? Here's the worst part. Ready? Why the frick did he say crotch? Why couldn't in the three dollar DVD keeps look out? Because that's what he said. He's like, oh, look out. Instead, he said crotch. Like, yeah. That technically shit hurt. Yeah. Yeah, that shit hurt. I mean, I understand he's trying to demonstrate his part, but now that should really hurt. That actually should cause blood because remember it said tinsel bio cable. He said tinsel bio cable. That most likely would hurt. That most likely would have so hurt. You and the tights don't move, Bob. Look at that. And they could have shot the guy that's over there webbed up. And the dude's like, I surrender, I surrender, even though he was going to use the gun. I know he's like, yeah, he didn't use that, but yeah, he didn't know that, but still. Like, yeah, he wasn't going to use the gun, man. Not unless he was superior Spider-Man. <laughs> I have to admit this was like one of the good one good scene though. Except for this part, this yeah, that right there. Like what are you doing? Are you stupid? <laughs> yeah, so they basically tried to make Spider Man as a actual New Yorker instead of good wield and stuff. Yeah, so they got this edgy New Yorker aspect on him. Say the mask. Yeah, then you have this one. He forgot the eggs, though. I mean, what kind of Peter actually tells Aunt May to go to sleep? You can't command her. Yeah, you can't command her. She's trying to protect you. She's in guardianship of you. You can't tell her what to do. And Tommy McGuire didn't tell Rosemary what to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah. Rosemary was just the best Aunt May so far. You can't beat the first one. Oh, here's the last part where you see Dr. Rothfield. Oh, here we go. So now when Osborne is going to die. Ooh. So you got Peter not knowing what day it is. <laughs> I mean, what's the deal with the fish Branzino crap? It's like, what's the deal with this? Right. And then you go back to Kirk Connors. Even though I would say, why did they write the family out? Yeah, why did they write? Why did they get rid of his family? And you can't say because of the movie runtime, because that's just straight up, we'll be back out of these messages. I mean, it's okay to basically say that they split up for some reason, the mom and the, him and Mrs. Connor split up, but don't get Billy like this. Yeah, you shouldn't just cut Billy. Yeah, technically when it comes to talking about the lizard, his family is very important in the story as well. As for people who didn't remember, I think it was on the Today Show, they showed a downstairs moment where the dude was like, I'm not going to let you up here. And then he was like, let me see what's in the bag. What you got in the bag? And he was like, ooh. And so that's why he did this. Which is kind of creepy, though. Wait, he didn't say or, yeah, he didn't say the doorman was intimidating on this either. Yeah. Well, at least he got more than what P 
Peter and Spider-Man 2 got. He got only three flowers. Yeah, how about we trade those three flowers he got from Spider-Man 2? Oh, that would be funny. Now, that would be a funny outtake. Yeah, I would have dared them to actually done that. I would have dared them to actually do that. Take a shot with Spider-Man actually at the table, dinner table, all dressed up. Oh, yeah, but, yeah, take the flowers he got to buy. Give them to... Spider-Man 2 Peter Parker and then you get to have those lousy three flowers he got for Mary Jane <laughs> Yeah, that would have helped Yeah, at least those flowers wouldn't have died So he injected himself with the serum, eh? Yeah, one thing I need to do as soon as I get some money is check out the lizard more in depth because I'm starting to buy the Ultimate Comics. Yeah, I'm starting to buy the Ultimate comic books. So, yeah. So as I get more money, I actually will buy some. And hello, getting some good stuff. Excuse me. I have the first one now. So I checked out the first one. Uh-oh. Yep, here we go. The transformation that didn't go so well. I will be back at these. All right, so. Yeah, that poor guy. That poor taxi driver. That poor, poor taxi driver. That poor taxi driver. <laughs> Peter, I mean, Gwen doesn't have brothers. What's the deal with this? You have to admit, this is an interesting moment. One thing. One thing I would really say is that instead of being like, Oh, Gwen actually has three brothers. No. Instead, you should have made it some point of saying, Oh, this is our next door neighbor, Helen, and her two children. That'll basically help. Uh oh. Hope you want that? Huh? That's a good one. Yeah, that most likely hit him hard there. <coughs> Sorry, I'm just coughing on how bad this movie is, <laughs> or how bland this movie is, more like it. Yep. 
That would have been a good foreshadowing. Actually, that did happen, but yeah. Yeah, she had to do something else in that. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, I give you the kiss scene that's supposed to top the first Sam Raimi film of Spider-Man. Yeah, so basically this is kind of like <clears throat> the school dance or the prom. You already had... You already had Sam Raimi with Sam Raimi showing the kiss. How about no, no? We'll say we have Peter and Mary Jane showing them how to kiss. And lots of people are like, Woo! Yeah! Oh, baby! Yeah! Woo! Go get it, Peter! And then you have this one. It's like, hey, wait. Let us show you how it's done. And he's like, look, check this out. Spin her around, put her close to him. <clears throat> yeah, that doesn't top anything. That was cutesy, but that didn't top anything. I was shocked I didn't just do something. And then it's like, awkward. The crazier part is that, didn't you just realize him a few days ago, and now you're actually kissing him, falling in love with him? Technically, I think this whole love thing, this love relationship, it's being rushed too much. It really is. Yeah, I'm shocked I didn't even try to milk it for all it's worth. Uh-oh. <clears throat> yeah, it's like, uh-oh. The lizard showing up for the first time ever. Oh, here's another thing. If this is based off the Ultimates, how come in this poor taxi driver, poor guy, he has to show up to work with this? But still, how come if they say it's based on the Ultimates that the $3 CD, well, DVD... How come they actually came with the old original, the lizard showing up, instead of the Ultimate Comics? Yeah, what's with that? <clears throat> so, if you notice the limo driver, which, give it a minute. But this is the last time we see Dr. Rafa. Even though deleted scenes have a story to tell too. Yeah, he somehow made it off the bridge. Yeah, even Tumblr basically said he made it off the bridge. We just don't know how. And yet again, you have Peter. Straight up. Yeah, that, what the heck, man. But notice he has a backpack. <laughs> yeah. All he's looking for was Dr. Rafa, but yeah, that's what he's basically doing is look for Dr. Rafa. And then he found him. He tried to get Dr. Rafa. He's straight up trying to get him. Which I guess the limo driver left. So the liver driver is actually a cameo star. Instead of getting a person who originally played Peter Parker... A.K.A. Tobey Maguire. They got the guy who killed Uncle Ben the first time. What the heck? Oh. Yeah, so you can't fight the lizard that much. And then you have the most important... Epi not episode. The most important scene of the whole entire thing. Which crazier part is that if it's the most important scene... How come they showed this America's Got Talent? And they gave it a good drum solo and everything. And look at it now. Nothing. Of course, you know, kids. Yeah, kids should be like, no, I'm keeping a mask. But Jack, dude. Yeah. 
kids are kids, you know. I'm glad that he was innocent and not a bad kid, even though... Yeah, you know. I mean, technically, he's a kid of a construction worker. You would expect him to actually have that New York personality with him. Even though, yeah, you can have good kids, too. So, thank goodness he is a good kid. Yeah, that would have really sucked if he actually died. Yeah, if the kid actually died, that means his mask would be gone. So, he have to go maskless all the way home. Well, not really. No, all he has to do is get up to the bridge and then put on his clothes back on and he's gonna be like oh dang it i have to make a new mask <coughs> you know i just had an idea the thought yeah that could have been screwed over but he saved them no, think okay, well, I'll say this first before I say the other thing. So, the first thing is, how could he put his mask back on if he has to hold the kid? So, does the kid actually have to put on a mask for him or what? I'm just saying. But here's the most important person in the end, which he got a lot of popularity. He is known as the Crane Dad. Which just technically does make up for the whole, you mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. Which lots of people hated the Spider-Man 1 and 2 having that. Which notice, Spider-Man 3 didn't have that in there. Which, that's kind of weird. I thought that was his thing. Oh well. Anyways. Uh, oh yeah, what I was going to say is that he originally got his suit from... A wrestling yeah the wrestling gave him a suit he designed the webs and put the webs in the spider logo on it so he doesn't know how to sew though so that's why he actually got to have MJ sewing his suit yeah there's one time where he actually taped his suit up to fight that's kind of funny Oh, here we go. So they could have gone two ways on this, <clears throat> which yeah, Aunt May should have so saw. Um, why did he move? Yeah, she should have so found. Hey, wait a minute. Yeah, they are having a in moment right now. Anyways, what I was gonna say is that the warrant, if they said ten thousand dollars warrant, they reference Spider-Man animated series. If they say one million dollars, then they reference Spider-Man Unlimited. Oh, frick. <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> they need me. <clears throat> they need me. Yeah, I mean, how are the police is gonna even do anything? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, trying to make another kissing to make up for that first one that wasn't really that topping.
Oof, thank goodness I got it. Bing. And that's when the coach said, Hey, Parker, you want to play football? <laughs> yeah, but instead they just ended it with that. Now he goes to the scene of the crime. Bum ba da ya da 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 da. Even though I do have to admit, at least this score is better than the whole Sundance stuff. <clears throat> uh oh. Like, does he really know what he's saying or what? <laughs> you don't have to be alone. Uh oh. And then you have this. Oh, dang. Ugh. The crazy part is, how come that still... It's like, how come he still has his lizard likeness while Connors does it? What's the deal with that? Do I look like the mayor of Tokyo to you? Drift. I mean, Jinx. Sales. And then you have a bunch of lizards, which the big question is how come a lot of lizards are suddenly showing up in the city? <clears throat> you don't have lizards in the city. Yeah, not unless they're based it in Florida. Yeah. A cash award. The only time you ever see Daily Bugle. Award for photos.
You would figure if he was a tech savvy, he would have figured out some way to have a mini camera on him. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. If you show any tech savvy, how come you don't allow him to have actual tech, a better camera than what he has? If he was able to buy those bio cable tinsels, that means he should at least have enough money to actually get a brand new camera. Maybe even a mini camera. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Yo, at least he's doing something like a spider can. Spider likeness. Oh boy, here we go. Wow. I mean, yeah, you shouldn't have had that camera. And then you have freaking Spider-Man playing on his phone. Or exactly is he putting his phone anyways? Yeah, where exactly did he put his phone? And then his phone's gone. Yep, now his phone's gone. Uh, your phone's gone now. Your phone just pooped out of here. And they're coming everywhere, clouding his judgment. Even though I think he's already climbed up on top of the ceiling. Yeah, so he's too distracted while the lizard somehow climbed up on top of the ceiling. Which, they're leading him over there, but the thing is, is he's already on the ceiling, so what's the deal with that? Yeah, see? What well, a smart idea to actually have it, but... Notice the fact that since it's bio tinsel, it shows that it actually does stick. And then, oh, that's got to suck. It's about to take off the mask. So the only question is how he's going to get his camera back. Yeah, what's the deal with that? Now he's going to get his camera back. He should have been smart enough to have, like, all right, I need to have a mini camera if I want to catch him. It's like, it also is in the sewer, so I could accidentally get pushed in the water, so I need to have it to be also waterproof. Yeah. Indeed, man. You left your camera for him to find. Yeah, what's the deal, property of Peter Parker, you idiot? Yeah, um, that's stupid. Why in the world would you actually break something that has your name on it? Because that so would scream, I'm Spider-Man, with the thing on it. Not unless you have the idea of saying, well, I saw Spider-Man and I told him about the Daily Bugle thing. I was asking him if he actually would take a photo on it since I really need the money. Yeah. And fattening. Jinx. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have to mention this stuff.
But I would have just sent the mom and it's like, yeah, where's the mom in this? <laughs> yeah, where's the mom in this? So did the mom already leave saying how, you're lying to search for Spider-Man to tear us apart. I'm leaving you. And I'm saying, bringing the boys with me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see. You're trying to add more kisses on here to try to at least have more kisses on movies. Yeah, so so far he has like, what, one and three quarters? Even though that tune doesn't really scream Spider Man, though. I'm just saying. And with great power comes great responsibility. Let's get out of here. That's like, okay. I didn't want to do that. What the? No. I'm not going to see you leave because he's going to. Oh, he changed to his normal clothes and they were going to go in there to have a picnic, which. That clock tower is the reason why it's in the next movie, even though it's like you already cut the clock tower part. What's the deal with the lizard's voice anyways? He had a better convincing voice when he was showing his voice. There we go. Mmm. Midtown Science High School. Not everybody looks like a smart genius. <laughs> And it's like, yeah, he came from a sewer, definitely. But do you know what bathroom he came out of? It was the girl's bathroom! Yep, the girl's bathroom. I'm glad they cut that part out, though. But, yeah. Everybody's running, and he's like, You want to go for it, boy? Let's go. You know, technically, this should have been... Green Goblin, who did it. Shut up in the Green Goblin, man. So I guess to deal with this. Ooh. 
And then he actually does show that he's a scientist still. And frozen in there. You know, chances are he missed. You know, I do have to admit, yeah, this just doesn't work as a Spider-Man theme. It's a good attempt, though, but still, it's not a Spider-Man theme. Uh-oh. Zeus. 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 Huge. Huge. <clears throat> actually should cause bleeding though. It's tinsel being shot at you. Hurt you! Jinx. Yeah. Ooh. Like, wait, how do you know my name? That should have been the question. Is, wait a minute, how do you know my name? But he's no showing that he's such a spider, apparently. Spider abilities have been greatly enhanced and stuff. Wow, right in the crotch area. <laughs> I mean, I thought it was in the stomach, but yeah. Wow. I mean, Stanley. Mm, yeah. Stanley is the master of cameos, like he said. Indeed. One thing I really hope is I do get to meet him one day. Yeah, before, because it's now up in the 90s. It's like, oh, man, I seriously need to hop to it because, yeah. You know, it's going to be a horrible, sad day, even though I shouldn't be talking about this. It's kind of sad, but it's the fact of, in the end, it will basically be, when he dies, it's going to be a sad, sad occasion. Who knows if Marvel actually will dedicate something for him. Yep. Surrounded indeed. To call Gwen, Gwen has to call Peter. Wait, how come you get a signal in the sewer, anyways? Wait, another question is: Your, you got plunged in the water. Shouldn't your cell phone be destroyed? Yeah, there should be some hintedy hint hint that that's the second cell phone. That's gonna suck. Saying Aunt May, um, I need a new cell phone. Why do you need a new cell phone, Peter? Well, because I fell in the water. <laughs> I fell in the water. Don't tell that to the Professor and Super Mega Force. Oh. What? Yep.
Yeah. So you're going to try to take down two at once? That's not a good idea. You know what? Doing this, guess what? I'm tired. Because it's, it's just so boring. There's nothing really to re-look and look at to see. Because there's nothing. And it's kind of stupid. Everybody's like, all right, let's shoot up this stupid lizard guy. It's like, uh, don't you remember biology class? You know, yeah, technically if you shoot a lizard, it's still dead. This is like a very big lizard. Chances are his healing factor does exist and it's more potent than smaller. Yeah, see, you see that? It recovered. You should have backed off, but instead, oh no. Oh no, it's gas. Joker's gas. You're <laughs> just kidding. It's like, oh no, it's gas that'll make you into lizard men. Who will do his bidding, even though they cut out that scene and never really wanted to do that scene or show that scene in deleted scenes, anyways. And then you have Gwen who's risking her life. The other funny part is, how come he hasn't seen the Ninja Turtles? He is in New York. It's kind of funny. One of those lucky girls over there would have got her cell phone used by Spider-Man. You mother hubby, you serious? So they're keeping tabs on Spider Man now. And this is when the whole I'm basically shooting it. I'm shooting it in one person's lens thing. Excuse me. The only thing that screwed him over. And wait a minute. Where was this task force in the Avengers anyways? Oh. So are you trying to say after Avengers... That you guys got better in your whole army thing. I mean, in your SWAT teams. It's like, yeah. Did you guys get better? Or what? I mean, if you were holding this back for Spider-Man. And not for the Chitauri. Then you guys technically suck. Yeah, you guys kind of suck. I could say something about President Bush, but never mind. I don't want the people to be like, oh my gosh, this dude is a hater. Is he jelly? Is that what's going on? He's jelly. <laughs> so now he gets to unmask him. Which the thing is, is that he could have made it too. Yeah, he could have made it. Yeah, this is where he didn't get to make it. It's because of... He had an extra gun. Or he had a gun, period. And then, the reveal! There should be some who actually are near him to actually hear that. Yeah, 
Yeah, there should be like some on the left, right side of them who heard that. Yeah, all the people right back there, they kind of should see, well, they most likely wouldn't be able to hear, but. He said, hold your fire, you stupid idiot. Yeah, so basically you have the Dark Knight Rises and versus Amazing Spider-Man. So, the Amazing Spider-Man, as you can see, he got shot in the leg by Spider-Man, I mean, and Dark Knight Rises, his gun got shot. Which is kind of funny, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, what would Peter want? Getting shot in the leg or one of his web shooters got shot? Even though technically in this movie, his web shooters got destroyed anyways. So that means he has to make more web shooters or what? And now you have the lizard break it in Oscorp, which I bet they should actually have some videotape or something of, yeah, Dr. Connor's experiments or something. That's kind of creepy, the whole sniffing the air thing. At least the good news is that she didn't really play the damsel in this. She was ready and prepared to finish him, which even though she wasn't really, to, he wasn't really after her, but she was prepared to protect herself. Now the antidote is ready. But, ooh. Yeah. That's one big question is, with that gunshot, how come you was able to fight the lizard the final time? Other thing is, Aunt May is completely, oh my gosh. The only thing is the fact of, how come Peter didn't just hide somewhere and say, Aunt May, this is Peter. I don't have to, I can't talk long because I'm trying to get back to you. But yeah, she had to hide. And this is when crying when crying dad was very very important. Lots of people chanted, "Cray dead, cray dead, cray dead, cray dead, cray dead." Well, Spider-Man is not really getting that much. I mean, there's lots of people rooting for Spider-Man, yes, but Crane Dad was, like, really the big step up in this movie. Which is kind of sad that in the original Raimi films, the first two times, you didn't really have anyone who's like, Yeah, people, yeah! Protect Spider-Man! Show Green Goblin that he's not alone. <laughs> or Spider-Man 2, they're like, yeah, say Spider-Man. Don't allow Spider-Man to fall off the cart and go right into the water. So, okay, well, back to this. So one thing is, well, the cry cranes are lining up. That's the good news. All right. So, next up is him doing this to his leg, which I'm not sure if that really helped at all, because the pain is still there. He's still weak from it. And now they have the soundtrack right here, where it's like, am I watching a Saturday, Sunday noon movie? Because that's what it sounds like. It's like something from the 90s or 80s. Especially if it was the ending movie part of the movie if it was in the end credits yeah I do admit some of the some of the soundtrack is good but others it's just 
not that good at all. I mean, you know, they got screwed over when they had to do a reboot and there was a sound already for Spider-Man. Yeah, I mean, when you're going against something that already had a sound, already had a theme that was dedicated to itself, unless you give it a good proper ending, which technically Spider-Man 3 was a bittersweet ending. All right, here we go. Trying to make it. Here's somebody shot that girl's love is the one of his butt. <laughs> yeah, even though it lasts three seconds. But chances are, if you had the deep uh, Blu-ray, the uh, 3D one, chances are you have many girls who is trying to touch his butt in that <laughs> see that scene. Yeah, when I saw that scene, I was like, oh, God, no. Especially since they were milking that scene in two of the trailers. One question, though. How come in the game you don't actually have that big Oscorp circle icon on it? Uh-oh, here he goes. Here it is, here it is. Oh boy. I mean, I don't know who really enjoys that part, even though they technically screwed over the whole, the untold story. They screwed that. Yeah, the untold story hasn't been told yet. Not at all. Oh yeah, I love it's just Spider-Man going against the lizard. Excuse me. Ooh, more three D action. That should have hurt him, actually. Yeah, that should have hurt him. I guess he got a second wind or something. That still got milked in the trailer too. It's like, yeah, Spidey kick, even though it hurts. It's like, even though I'm trying to hide the pain. Oh, that should have hurt too. And it's like, oh man, it hurts. Ow. But instead, they're just basically making it a good fight. Which I would have rather saw it graze him instead of a bullet actually hit him. Yep, there goes the web shooters. Yep, destroyed the web shooters. So he has to make more. He's not alone, Jinx. <laughs> Smart idea using liquid nitrogen, though. Ooh, ish. Yeah, that's kind of funny, too. That's his pan that got destroyed. Yep, he can't trust the web shooters in. This is the part where you're like, why don't you back off? You notice the gun is not working. I would basically back off instead of getting Ugh! killed like that. Which, if this was the ultimate saga, I mean, if this was the ultimates, technically, he should have died with Chameleon. It was Chameleon who killed him in the ultimates. 
course you can say the whole, It's his own vision! Well, his vision sucks. His vision sucks so badly. It's not even funny. His vision sucks. And, yeah, they basically... I think in the second trailer, they basically already proved that the whole dripping stuff was part of the movie. We just didn't know what. Yeah, we just didn't know what. And no one really has even emotions for Dr. Connors at all. Yeah, there's really no sympathies at all for Dr. Connors. Sad to say that this is one of... The, oh, yeah, wait. This got milked so badly in the trailers. Yeah, this got milked so badly in the trailers. And without his web shooters, lots of people are hurt. But the thing is, is how come he saved them? He can stick to walls. That doesn't mean anything. Yeah, I mean, you already ruined the whole she show sympathies to Spider-Man. Yeah, it's like, yeah. You already basically didn't even help him as a bad guy. Yep, so he's finally reverting back. Missing his arm now. His arm is gone again. It's like, yeah. If only I had this power to nom. I could have saved my arm. <laughs> That's not right. That's not right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah, he's super dead now. Final words of Captain Stacy. Uh oh, here we go. Well, he broke that promise from you. I mean, he did it for a little bit, but not a lot. Which, Dennis Leary reprised his role as Captain Stacy as a ghost. A freaky ghost. He's gonna haunt Peter! Especially at the graduation. Woo! Oh, here we go again. Go for it. Go ahead. Lay out that cryful moan. You should see the Terminator movie after this. That's what basically you're saying here. <laughs> Adam Schwarzenegger should have done this, boss. Yeah, here we go. This was in the trailer. That was definitely in the trailer. Technically, I would say maybe that was part of the trailer, too. But not the whole shot away from it. Everyone else is... Yeah. So instead of having them freak out like lizard, they basically were just saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Yeah, she must have been worried sick. The only question is, since they do have a gun, a bullet shot going into Peter. Yeah.
He got you the eggs. I mean, we have no telling if he got the bullet out of himself or not. <laughs> and the person that actually would take out the bullet and do his medical stuff is actually Dr. Connors. Yeah, that sucks. Yeah. After he befriends him and saves him and keeps his secret. Yeah. So, we were speculating whose funeral this was, and it turns out it was Captain Stacy's funeral, and his uncle doesn't even deserve a funeral for some reason. I guess they were trying to not beat the whole one, two funerals in a movie thing, just like that happened in the first Spider-Man. And now Gwen Stacy comes to confront... You didn't come to the funeral. Everyone else was in the funeral, but you weren't in the funeral. What's the deal? Even if you promised my dad something, that doesn't mean you should diss him. <laughs> yeah, technically, yeah, that was a diss. It's like, yeah, that's obvious. Yeah, you have no excuse on that one. At least she knows that it was her dad who put him up to it. That's the good news. At least she knows that part. No freaking way. A Comedy Central, it's the Coneheads. No freaking way, man. The yes, Coneheads. Oh, anyways. Back to Peter's lousy life. touching moment I suppose like I'm no good I'm just put in trouble oh and here's finally the message he sent which I do have to admit it's a good idea to put this message right here at this point <laughs> murderer still wanted I guess that's one thing, but still. Hey, look at this. This one actually reminds me of Edward Norton. Or Bruce Banner than anything. Hmm. 
Wow, look at that. The first graffiti of Spider-Man. That's touchy. It's kind of like a static shock. When he went back in time, and now his, he, when his mother said, that's one thing I heard her saying on the phone, my son, my superhero. <laughs> <laughs> hinted he hinted on black cat just kidding <laughs> even though it's rumored she is in the movie though I wouldn't say because of that and say hinty hint hint to oh here we go Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, of course you would. <laughs> it's kind of funny, too. There's only a few... Uh-oh. Woo! And that brings her father to haunt Peter Parker. Woo! Ooh. Yep, that's why he's haunted Peter Parker. With his trusty skateboard. <laughs> yeah. He's haunting Spider Man with his trusty skateboard. Oh, wait. His skateboard is possessed by <laughs> Captain Stacy. Oh, man. That would be a crazy one there. And then someone said something about. Look at the sides, just like some bad guy, and then the moon is actually Mysterio. He went through Chinatown, showing the reality of it all, even though... I know where do we want to see the alleyway where lots of people are high, hanging up their stuff. And then looking into his eye, what is in his eye? Oh my gosh, it's the Green Goblin, he's in his eyes! <laughs> The great goblet showed up in his eyes. You have to zoom in very, very close. Kidding. I'm kidding. Don't do that. I'm kidding. <coughs> so I'm just going to wait to the last part and then... <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. I'm sorry. That ending just sucks so badly. <laughs> yeah, I can't just take all this. We'll be back out of these messages stuff. Yeah. Yep, Lisa Zinskin, who was just shown. Yeah, she died, apparently. She died before even seeing the last bit of this movie. Avi A-Red has been always there since the 90s. And Tomac. Yeah, he actually sponsored the first movie. Yeah, he was actually a producer in the first movie. And it seems like they didn't replace her. Yeah, they didn't replace her in the first movie. Wow, gift set? What? It says here that this movie that I'm looking at is actually... Hold on. I mean, yeah, they spelled his name wrong. They spelled the person who played Dr. Rafa's name wrong. And it says that this is actually a four-disc movie, even though I only got one disc. Damn you, Walmart. Cheap me out of my money. <laughs> now we see what happens to him. In jail, waiting a trial. Which, if you didn't see what happened in the trial, look at Tumblr. They have a Tumblr that tells you what happens. Which, I'll just put it down below all the stuff that's you need to look at. See? I was in the second trailer. So, do we even know who he is? Nope, they're just adding something. They're just adding to it, even though they added Thunder to this, which lots of people thought it was Mysterio. Of course, Seven Webheads, which I guess I'll put that movie down below too, says that it's the gentleman. Excuse me. 
And anything else is, well, Damon Lemon was the taxi driver. Yeah, that poor guy. Yeah, so I'm just going to wrap this up. So <clears throat> that's about it, right? Just trying to figure out who that dude is, which we have another one. And it seems like maybe they leaked the last one in the trailer, too. Yeah. So, thank you for watching, and I hope this was funny. And if it was lacking, I'm sorry. I just... This movie has just made me into a zombie more than anything. Anyways, thank you for watching. I hope this was a laugh, and stay tuned for more. And if you enjoyed this, click like, subscribe, and there might be more if lots of people actually tell me, Hey, I like this. Right now, I see that 65 people saw the first one, so why not make another one? So, here you go. I hope you guys enjoy, and stay tuned. Peace out. Well, actually, not peace out, but have a funny laugh these days. Yeah, yeah. make sure you get a laugh today. Because if you don't get a laugh, the world will just be nothing but a dull place. So, make sure you overdose on laughter. And I'll catch you guys next time when I do another commentary, which I don't know if I'll do another one. But, hey, if you subscribe and like and tell me you want to, me to do more, I'll do it. Well, anyways, now it's time for me to go. So, overdose on the, the medicine called laughter, and I'll catch you guys next time.